poo with a view. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind? £64,000. £136,000 RRP. £122,000. 90 grand. <laughs> Welcome to the 2024 Caravan and Camping Show in Harrogate. We've been here for three hours and so far we've only filmed one van, but we've got to speak to some amazing subscribers. Thank you so much if you came up to us. Let's see if we can get some vans filmed for you guys. Okay. See you, bye. Don't forget the wave. Hey you wonderful people of the internet, as I've just mentioned we are heading off to the Harrogate Caravan and Camping Show where we have a good look around some vans that you can buy if you sell most of your body parts and all your children. We have actually started looking for a larger van and albeit a long way off, these shows really do help with layout ideas and hopefully this video will help some of you too. Shell Cam is back by popular demand and don't forget the all important outtakes at the end. Stay awesome and above all be kind. There are hundreds of vans on display and as much as we would love to film them all, there just wasn't enough time. So we filmed the vans that stood out to us on the day and try and give you as much information about them as we can. So we're having a look around at a company called Speed Campers and their vans. I think they're predominantly for transit customs. They, they do have a Peugeot, but there's one I'm going to show you a bit of B-roll now. Uh, they've got a pop top with the, the the bed platform itself is a map and i think that's a brilliant idea because you can mark off where you've been or where you want to go i think that's a lovely idea i think that when i'm laying in bed it's upside down see what you think oh yeah that mess with my feng shui yeah now this is beige but kind of like it's a beige that i like beige do you agree yeah it's kind of a nice beige it's like a it's like an old-fashioned sofa like a chesterfield like or something a tan rather yeah, than yeah, beige. yeah 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 i am going to stand up for beige this time and I don't say it's my age thank you Are you re i reckon you it is i reckon there. you get to a certain age where beige becomes acceptable and michelle's yeah. teetering on the beige age <laughs> i'm really not this beige yes that kind of creamy hearing aid beige no not a fan of that with all beige preferences aside, we continued to look around in awe of the awesome vans. The show was jam-packed with amazing suppliers that solved solutions to problems you didn't even know you had. And if you don't yet own a van and you're as tight as I am, outside there are used vans on display if you're looking for a bargain. And when I say bargain, I mean you'd only have to sell one or two body parts to fund it. All jokes aside, the vans on display were very well built and the time and effort that has gone into creating these adventure stations really shows. I'm on the way to the toilets. He's left me. He's let me loose in here. And look what I found. A bag stall. Perfect. That is exactly where I'm going. He'll never find me in there. We decided to come outside because it's just a little bit cramped in there at the moment. And not only that, they've got a lot of used vans outside, so maybe a little bit cheaper. So let's go check them out. We're going to check some big ones out. I am going to check out some used ones because why not? And uh, I think Michelle's going to eat. So see you bye. So we've just been talking to the chaps behind us that run a company called Outlandish and it's all like modular uh, stuff in the van and it means that you can slide the kitchen out or slide different units in and, and have different setups. So what you can do is you can slide the units in and have a double bed or a single bed or slide them out, put his bike in on a slidey bench or have the kitchen unit slide out a little bit so he can cook outside. I think that's brilliant for, for those that don't want to have their van always as a camper van yeah. and you want to use it as a van van then that gives you that option, doesn't it? Yeah. I quite like that. Yeah, I really it was do. really good. And every, every unit had storage in it as well. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I obviously want lots of space for my blankets and everything that I want to keep warm yeah. and <laughs> my makeup and my hairdryer and yeah. everything. So yeah. yeah, there's plenty of room for all that as well. Um, but yeah. yeah, it was a great idea, yeah. great idea.
I'm going to have a look at uh, vans mainly like this, I reckon, today. Uh, because if we were to ever upgrade, we'd go for something slightly larger uh, like this van here. Uh, don't know what brand we'd go for. It'd all be down to what is the interior like, uh, how many miles are on it, and things like that. So uh, that could be a thing. But not for a while yet, and definitely uh, no beige. <laughs> Michelle's just getting a, a snack and a cup of coffee uh, from down there. And then we're going to have a, a mooch around some of the larger vans. There is so much space up there. It's amazing. And you've got sunroof. Sunroof on the pop top? Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is lovely. It's got so much storage. And then at the back here, this turns into the bed. You've got storage under here. Toilet in there. Cupboard. It, it's just fab. Technically, is this beige? I don't think it is. I think it's kind of an off brown. It's not beige. So I still think that this is too large for something... I want something in between this, something that's slightly shorter but can still have a bed at the back and maybe a toilet and a shower. I don't know. I don't know. I can't afford it, so I don't even know why I'm looking. But I do like these size vans. V-Line SE 636 and it's an auto trail. Lovely. Still 64 grand though. 64,000 pounds. <laughs> You tell me what you think in the comment section, whether you think 122 grand for a large van that holds a bike and a bed and everything like that, whether you think that's just too much now uh, or whether you think that's just a sign of the times and that's what we all have to get used to. much time for shell camp but i thought i'd do one just because you know you can appreciate how good colin is when uh, you compare it to what i'm about to do uh, this is a uh, fiat see i've even got the make of it down now um it's a fiat jacata and it's been converted where you've got at the back here um you've got the kitchen and cupboards above and then you've got a loo in there and then it could just reverse a little bit. No, it's not cupboard. Well, it is a cupboard, but it's where you store your bed. Um, and then in this area here, this converts into your bed. Colin's been looking for the next size up. So if we do decide to um, get a bigger van at some point, this is the sort of thing we'd look for. I think initially. Not too sure about the, the conversion layout of this one, but it is a shorter wheelbase than the other ones that we've looked at. Anyway, so this is the um, another Fiat Giacato, similar to the one that I've just been in, um, where they've got the bed at the back, which I think works loads better. Um, but it is a longer wheelbase, so you can see all the way down to the bottom there. Um, so at the bottom, you can have a, um, a single bed if you wish to. Um, so it is three berths, or you've got the double, double at the back, which I think works a lot better because then you can be, you can open your doors in the morning if you, um, you know, at the seaside or wherever. Um, obviously, if you're quite remote, you, you're still in bed, you kind of look out. Um, you maybe don't want to open the doors if you're just on a campsite because you'll have all the people looking in with you in bed. But you know, you may like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and then you've got all the middle section with the toilet and things like that. Oh, hi. Um, and then the front bit is where you would cook and do all the washing up and things like that. And it just feels a lot more spacious than the one that we've just been in. Hot chocolate time, getting a bit chilly. So I think we might go inside and have a look inside here what they've got going on there. 
have a look at the snazzy vans, uh, the ones that we can't afford even more so than the ones that we can't afford here. <laughs> Uh, it's been a good show actually. It's quietened down now. It was a little bit busy earlier. Uh, hi, you all right? Hello, hello. Right, let's go find some more beige stuff. There's a lot less beige here actually than last year. I think what's basically happened is all the manufacturers have um, listened and watched my videos about me moaning about hearing aid beige and have changed it all up. So thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> it was nice while the sun was out and now it's just gone really, really freezing. Yeah, it has on it. So we like this sink area, don't we? Yeah. It's very, very nice. It's very posh. The only problem I've found with it so far is if you're sat there chilling yep. and I want to use the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a feature. That's... I, can, I can pretty much, it's squishy actually. You don't bang your head because it's squishy. You can sleep there, I can sleep there. And, and then the Branston. Branston there, oh. yeah. <laughs> yes. If we ever won the lottery, yeah. this would be the band I would look. This exact one? This exact one. I love it. It is nice, isn't I it? I absolutely love it. Yeah, it is pretty nice. It has Mercedes written on it. <laughs> I think I've found actual magics. Right, wait, watch this. When you open a door normally, there's a, there's a latch there. There's normally like a thing that sticks out. Yeah, and then when you close it, then that latch is in. I haven't turned the handle and it won't open until I turn the handle. I mean, what's happening there? What's happening there? How does that even work? <gasps> There's nothing. Eh? We definitely have to win the lottery if uh, you wanted this shell because it's £126,000. I know. 136000 pounds RRP. It is beautiful, beautiful. But if I spent that much money on a van, I'd want to live in it full time. I'd never want to leave it. Made in Germany, fit for Scandinavia. See, you can't even use them over here. Who with a view? Excuse me, do you mind? <laughs> when you come back from your bike ride or you walk, you straight basically into your pantry. Do you know what I mean? So you can walk straight in, get a shower, get all your dirty clothes off and stuff. Yeah. Get sorted before you go into the main bit of the van, which is in there, look. Look at that. That's really good, isn't it? There we go. She's not really going, it's fine. <laughs> Just pretending. <laughs> Is that a toilet? Yeah, of course it is. You can have a poo with a view on this one as well. Real oak. It could just be real oak veneer, not real solid oak. No veneer in here. No Who veneer. Don't know. Oak. Oh, oak furniture land, yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. Hashtag there are other uh, furniture <laughs> product stores available. This little van really piqued our interest. Although it's not something we're in the market for, it was a small business run by a lovely chap who travelled Iceland in this actual van. And it's a fully electric vehicle. I think that the battery anxiety would be high on this one, but superb conversion nevertheless. So the van behind me is a VW uh, Transporter T6.1. I think it's a beautiful van. I think that getting rid of the rear cupboard at the back, yes, you lose a lot of storage, but you gain all that. The light is just so nice. Um, and then obviously you get the extra cupboards going along the top and you still get that feeling of air and spaciousness. Uh, I know I'm sounding like George Clark or something. I don't know if they're going to fit a swimming pool in the pop top. But another thing that I really like about this van as well is the um, pop top bed part itself bends so then you've got more height at the back really well kitted out uh, however <laughs> are you ready for the price lovely lovely van looks absolutely stunning great bit of kit fully off grid all electric lovely jovely 90 grand <laughs> <laughs> if you're into the uh, the morgue draws vibe then uh, yeah definitely uh, 
get this <laughs> no i think they're just like bunk beds and your legs would go in this section here uh, we'll go in and have a look uh, and i'll tell you what the brand of the van is and everything like that but this is quite a good size i really like it and yeah definitely your legs go in that side and there's, there's loads of room under there oh it's lovely This one is another Ducato or another Fiat and uh, by the same company. That's Wild Axe Aurora 6 meter Volt Fiat Ducato 2.2 motorhome automatic diesel. Uh, so yeah, nice and quippy short name there. Uh, it does have a built-in uh, fly screen. Lovely jubbly, that's really nice. I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to push it any further than that. Pretty much double bed uh, in the back here already set up, which I think you can fold away as well and you can use the garage underneath or the van as a full van once this uh, bed is all folded out of the way and stuff uh, pretty nice plenty of storage above which looks nice and snazzy and uh, we'll show you the other side because the other side not only have you got a little kitcheny bit here which is this uh, with induction hob and sink and everything but there's another uh, single bed just there for little ones or even if it were just you camping on your own you didn't want to set up the big bed you maybe had your bike in there don't know and uh, a nice shower and toilet area as well it's nice and airy in here which uh, feels lovely loads of storage uh, included the overhead storage as well and uh, even the driving bit looks really nice too love it awesome one thing that we've noticed about these vans is now on this van here that we've just had a look at it's lovely it's really really nice um, you've got the lovely kitchen at the back here you've got a shower area it's proper lovely but you're spending 80 grand on a van where you still have to set your own bed up now for me, I'd much prefer if I was going to spend 80 grand, which I don't have, I'm about £79,999 short. If I did spend that money on a van, I would want my bed set up for me. Like, you know, like this one over here, let's say for instance. Like, no, not like that one. Uh, <laughs> like this one here. This one has already got its bed set up. So you've got your living space at the bottom there so you can chill out and have your drinks or whatever or stay up a little bit later while someone came to bed uh, and it's already set up ready to go so if one person wanted to go to bed not that everybody has to go to bed if that makes sense uh, so yeah i think i much prefer if you're going to pay that sort of money to have your bed already set up for you These vans by Jorvik are more of the type of van conversion we go for and quite possibly build our own to a similar spec. However, these are the only vans in this show that have this kind of look, kind of an Instagram look if you like. They also hire out their vans and at some point in the not too distant future, I think we may hire one for a video and test it fully. I bought something, we're on his way back now, but I bought something. I always love buying something at the uh, motorhome show, just in case. And it's never gonna be a uh, 800 grand van, but it'll always be something that I'm gonna get use out of in the van. And uh, it looks like we're the only van left in the car park too. See you later guys. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. no. It's my turn. Oh. Okay, it's see you later by... No, I'm doing it did wrong. Did you wrong, you did it wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong, you're not doing it, you're not doing it, you're not doing it. See you, bye. <laughs> you just press record so it's like instant record and then to stop, stop it. it you know when you've got little kids and your kids are in the way of doing things and you need to work and your kids are so you might give your kid a little pretend laptop i've been given the little camera so that i'm out of his way while he's working that's my theory i think it's like bunk bed on cat <laughs> <laughs> right, i'm getting stuck it's good action that it's good action oh it's just a see-through cupboard what's the point in that <laughs> Why are you whispering? I don't know. We're not in a library. Ooh. And I love coming places like this because it gives you so many different ideas for what to do in your camper van. And I always come with the idea that I don't need much. I just need my van. And I need warmth. And I need water. And I need food. But then I might need a different top. I need entertaining. I need my hairdryer, clothes. I need the dog books. So what starts off as one little bag just turns into about 20. And it's not beige, so Colin will be happy. I'm going to show you with the um, the 
The one I'm going to show you with the, what's it called? Map. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. Map. The one. <laughs> Uh, your microphone's not on. Oh, no, it is, it is on. It is on. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Hi. Dude. Oh, hi. <laughs> Soft close, are we ready? No. no. Awning has broken. Can you open the door for me, please? Am I in shot or not? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've just been talking to these guys behind. <laughs> sorry, did I thumb you? I can't say that, can I? <laughs>